we had this in amazing experience here in this very building of launching and achieving the first Siemens Halle International Conducting Competition. There's so much to say about this competition, which is really unique. First of all, we got so many applicants, and uh, this is amazing. I mean, uh, it seems to be the world is um, full of conductors. Uh, but uh, the second thing is, I like the niveau. The niveau was amazing, and we had, and especially in the final, we had uh, very talented um, applicants, and it, uh, all of them would be enjoyable to see in the concert. So I think it's really important that an orchestra, where possible, has a sense of commitment to the next generation. And we've always done that, and we've always auditioned, and people have applied, and we've had different rounds, you know, and the orchestra's given their point of view. But this was different again, wasn't it? The reaction to the invitation to apply from people coming from all over the world, from five continents, the diversity of applicants, and that was then reflected in the diversity of the finalists, you know, to have those finalists, a really, really diverse bunch of people, such talent, such a difficult job to actually choose a winner, but really a great choice in the winner, absolutely. You know, we, 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 we felt privileged actually to watch that process, that selection process, to see those individuals going through that process, to deal with issues like watching their avatar for the first time, you know, and, and actually take input from yourself, from Stefan, Frucht, from, from players in the, in, the, in the orchestra, and to see how they reacted to that, that, that feedback, seeing that avatar of themselves for the first time, to get the avatar actually conducting the orchestra, which that was quite a unique experience. I have to say, we felt really privileged as, as onlookers, watching that kind of candid, and very intimate dialogue that was going on between yourself and those, those, yes. those, those, those talented young conductors. Uh, we are in the 21st century and the classical music uh, is a mirror of um, what's going to happen in the society. But you have to uh, use the habits of the new generation and they are not looking so much in mirrors, they are looking in their own movings and movies and Instagram and, and Facebook. So uh, they, are very, they were very thrilled to uh, examine how they are presented in, uh, in digital um, worlds and digital materials. Well, I noticed very much that all the participants were excited about watching themselves in the avatars uh, because they had the chance to judge their own movings, right and left hand, and they were very surprised what uh, it happened when the orchestra tried to play uh, with the avatar together. I mean, nobody wants to play with a robot. Uh, because we like to have a conductor with soul and emotions. But to check your movings, to check your uh, technique is always good and uh, something what every conductor, each conductor has to do every day. And this exactly is why it was a big advantage to have the digital challenge in the competition. So, so the avatar effectively just takes a, pi a picture of the body. So rather than using bubble suits, it, it was picking up on the, uh, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, and, and the top half of the body so that you could actually start mapping through how the conductors were working. So what we did, we took those points, put them onto an avatar and formed a virtual conductor. So every single of the conductors in real time actually had an av avatar being generated, which we could then take and play back to the orchestra and see how you know, it worked with the orchestra. But more importantly, actually, it put the conductors in a position where they were slightly uncomfortable, so we could see how they reacted when they were put into a situation that they weren't used to. And I would like to offer the role of the new Halle assistant conductor to Deliana. She's a wonderful person to join the whole Halley family. 
Deliana Lazarova, and she's really ready. And because of the nature of the competition, and this is something that I'm not sure that, that many people realise, we garnered applications from people who are further on in their development than when we normally do the assistantship. So Deliana is just that little bit further on, more developed, ready for more um, experiences, more challenges. What really um, impressed me also was the feedback coming from the candidates themselves, or sorry, the finalists themselves, you know, in terms of how they felt they'd been treated and, and the whole experience of the Siemens yes. Ballet International Conductor Competition. You know, the, the, it seemed to be very different to other experiences that they'd well, had. C candidates over the years have told me frightening stories about how this, that this sort of event can take place. It's like, good afternoon, right, start please. And three minutes later, thank you very much, next. You know, you've come hundreds of miles and you're out. You know, it's brutal. And it's not the way, in my view, to, to find the best qualities in people. They, they need to feel that they're being cherished in order to try and give of themselves. And that's when you really can assess how much they've got to give and what their potential is. I think any artistic organisation is very important to have a strong supporter and a partner such as Siemens which brings uh, this whole experience to a really um, much broader international level. Thanks to them I'm here and uh, thanks to them I, I, I won this competition and I got this amazing job so I think this is a huge part. Well, as a conductor and a musician myself, I am always looking for new challenges because the classical music and the world of classical music, it's full of traditions. Tradition is good, but it's, not, it's only one, one side of, of, the whole, of the whole thing. We have to develop it that the classical music has chances to survive another 300 years. And uh, this is why we also in the Siemens Arts Program look for a new repertoire uh, new young artists, um, new types of um, things who could be um, a tradition later on. Mm -hmm.